Ever given any thought to changing your brain? Do you realize it's an option? We're ta not talking about learning a foreign language or even how to drive a stick shift. This Your Health Report with Angie Bailey looks at neurofeedback and how you can teach your brain to behave without even realizing it. The technology you're about to see has been around for going on 50 years, but just in the past several years it seems to be doing impressive work in treating everything from ADHD to migraines to depression. Please, Mrs. Coulter. Neurofeedback looks a little far out there if you're used to the idea of therapy being an hour-long talk with a psychologist. I get the science fiction thing and the mad scientist uh, kind of thing. But psychologist Jeff Tarrant says nudging the brain in the right direction using a computer can make a huge difference. If, if you reward the brain for doing certain things, it will do more of it. Um, if you ignore the brain when it's doing certain things, it will do less of that. And so when it comes down to it, it's actually a very simple process. A therapist sticks electrodes on certain areas of the head associated with a particular problem in the brain. Neurofeedback measures brain wave activity and sends it through a computer program that Tarrant monitors and adjusts. It's absurd. All while the patient's just watching a movie. Anytime their brain starts to move out of the parameters that I've established, uh, it starts to dim a little bit and the volume starts to go down. So it's actually fairly subtle feedback, uh, and all they're doing is watching a movie. But the feedback is enough that the brain starts to make small changes uh, in order to watch the movie. And Terrence says about 90% of his patients get significant kind of relief. He's used it on six-year-olds as well as senior citizens for everything from attention problems, hyperactivity, anxiety, depression, tick disorders, migraines, seizures, and on and on. So if there's any sort of dysfunctional activity or activity that might be uh, associated with certain symptoms, we can teach the brain to change that and then consequently change the symptoms. And the more that we do that, the stronger those patterns become until they become natural, normal patterns for the brain. The brain will do it itself. Um, it's kind of like you just kind of have to get out of the way. While the help is happening subconsciously to the patient, there's a whole lot of intentional science going on. Terrence monitoring more than 250 variables and training the brain activity to stay within an established standard deviation of normal based on loads of research. With your help, I'm Angie Bailey. A session takes about an hour, and a patient can expect results in 20 to 40 sessions. There are centers in Columbia and Jefferson City. If you want to learn more information as well as about information about the costs, go to KMU.com and click on the Links and Numbers tab.